Well, parts of the understanding I was developing was an understanding of why the United States became an imperialist power and, and obtained colonies for itself at the turn of the century, including the Philippines. And my uh, understanding of this and my attitude toward, toward this was one of uh, thinking that the Philippines should be free, it should be independent, it should not be a colony. So that was my, the orientation I had toward the Philippines, not only the Philippines, but also Puerto Rico and every other colony that the Americans had. I couldn't imagine why the United States, a democratic country, should uh, own other people and, uh, and treat them <laughs> for their own interests, if I mean for the interests of American groups. Uh, that was my attitude toward the Philippines at the time. But you see, uh, the 1930s were not only a period of uh, depression, it was the period of the rise of fascism in the world. And uh, I participated to a great extent in the anti-fascist movements that existed in the United States, which had their local uh, groups in, in Rochester. And uh, the struggle against fascism was a great uh, motivating factor in my life at that time. And when World War II uh, came along, I gladly went into the American Army. When the, when the Pearl Harbor incident occurred, I tried to enlist in the American Army. I felt this is the war that had to be fought, but I, they wouldn't take me at that time because my eyesight is very poor. But eventually, under the, under the draft, I was drafted into the Army. And uh, I went into the Army eager to fight against fascism. And, uh, and incidentally, also, the 1930s were a very interesting period in American history. To me, it was a great uh, democratizing period. The Roosevelt New Deal was a, uh, was a democratizing uh, uh, factor in, in American life. Uh, the welfare programs were built around uh, democratic uh, organizations and w ways of uh, organizing uh, people into some kind of work activity. And uh, my, my feelings for democracy were greatly stimulated during the Roosevelt New Deal period and made up a uh, part of my attitude toward fascism and my attitude toward the war when it finally did come along.